Hey there, if you don't know me by now, I'm Steph from stephendel.com and I'm gonna show you today a arm workout that's gonna tone up your arms so that when you're wearing those tank tops and spaghetti straps, especially in the summertime, that your arms look incredible. times I feel like us ladies neglect our arms because we're afraid that if we lift too much weight we're gonna look like those beefy bodybuilders that you see in the gym. What you do want is to have nice lean toned arms and shoulder muscles because then it's gonna give your waist a slimmer look. Who doesn't want that? And of course I have a postable quote for you this week. This is one of my favorites. If it's not fun you're not doing it right. And it holds true for everything. If you're not doing things for fun, why are you doing them at all? If you're not enjoying your work and having fun while you work, why are you doing it? If you're not enjoying your workouts, why are you doing them? If you're doing anything that's not fun, why are you doing that? That's your choice. So today, you're making this choice to have a blast in this workout. I'm gonna lead you through it. I'm gonna give you everything you need, motivation, inspiration, all the tools I have to get you where you need to go. So all you need to do is just show up and decide to enjoy it. How easy is that? All right, on that note, time to do a little arm workout. You ready? Okay, to start off, grab your weights. I'm using seven pounds. Use something that feels challenging for you. And we're gonna lift into a bicep curl and then up into a press. So we're hitting two different muscles all in the same move. That's more bang for your buck. You know that's how I like to do it around here. So the overhead press works your shoulders and your triceps, which is that jiggly arm muscle that we all would not mind waving goodbye to. While the bicep curl is working, you guessed it, the bicep. All right, enough schmoozing about muscles. Time to check your form. First things first, let's check and make sure that your abs are tight. And let's also make sure that when you're doing that bicep curl, that your elbows stay by your side. Anytime you're doing a bicep curl, you also wanna remember that lifting the weight up is just as important as lowering the weight down. So the concentric and the eccentric are both important. So don't just go dropping that weight down. It's really important to lower it down nice and slowly. So let's shoot for five more right now. Push that weight up to the sky or up to the ceiling if you're in your living room doing this. You've got four more now. Now remember, good form, pushing up to the sky and lowering down slowly, not just dropping those weights. Three. I know it's burning at this point. I'm right here with you. We can do this. Just two more. Here we go. Pushing it up to the sky, lowering it down slowly. And one more. Come on. Last bit of energy. I know you've got it. Here we go. Good job. Woo. Bring it down to the mat for this next exercise. Now, I want to make sure that I'm keeping you guys on your toes. So this is going to be a little bit more complex than we're used to. So get ready. You're going to start out with your arms out to the side, curl them in, lift the hips, lift the arms, tricep extension, and lower back down. You got it? You might not have it after that first one, but follow me and we'll do it together. So press forward, triceps, and then lower it down. Whew, this is like the all-in-one move. So if you're ever super pressed for time, you want a quick arm workout, just do this one by itself. But I suggest it with others when you have more time. So yeah, this is working your bicep, your tricep, your shoulders, your back, and bonus, your glutes, the backs of your legs. That's why I added that extra hip lift in there. We are working all different muscle groups all at once. Your abs are even engaged. This is the move of all moves. And once you catch on to these movements, you are in the zone. So remember that although we're doing a lot of things right now, each move that you make is very important and you want it to be done 
with really good form. Now, I want to focus right now on the tricep portion of this. Right when you're coming up here, you want to make sure your elbows are in line with each other. You don't want them to be bowed out or flopping around. That's a no-go. And as you're extending your arms forward, you're also working your chest muscles. So give you a little extra boost there too. So check in and make sure you're getting your hips up nice and high right here so that you're getting the most out of this move for your glutes or the backs of the thighs. All right, can you do five more? It's time to find that extra energy that you have deep down inside. Dig in and bring it out. All right, you got four more now. Curl, press, tricep, and bring it back down. Three to go. You can do this. Curl, press, triceps and then lowering it back down. Just two more, I know you're sore, I know this is hurting at this point, but remember why you came out and did this workout. Remember the results that you wanna get. Remember why you're doing this. Give me the best you've got for this last one. Finish strong. Since we're lifting a lot of weights, I also wanna make sure that you get your cardio up at this point. So come on down to the mat, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Remember that I'm right here with you and these 30 seconds are gonna fly by, so I want you to give as much power, energy, and everything you got right now. Last 10 seconds, let's go, go, go. You're bringing your knees up to elbows, let's go. A few more seconds, you've got this. Come on, as much power and energy as you got. And for our last move, reach down and grab your weights again. These are gonna be shoulder raises. So you're gonna be lifting your arms straight out to the front and then out to the side. What this is gonna do is work your shoulder muscles. Again, we've worked that muscle a lot in these exercises so far. So it's gonna be really sore at this point, but this is a muscle that we want to work. When you're wearing a little summer dress or tank top, this is the muscle that you want to be nice and toned. So let's shoot for five more after this one. Here we go. One, and out to the side. Good job. Two, and out to the side. You're burning, it's hurting, I know, I'm feeling it too. This is your third one. Remember, only two left, and this is your last exercise. So, one more after this, and here we go, last one, best one you got. Out to the side, and you're done. Nice work. Good job on that workout. Give it a little air high five right there. Did you give this workout your all? Did you pleasantly surprise yourself with how much you could do? If you did, you deserve that little high five right there. That was intense and worth every minute. You came out and you showed up and you put in the work. So I'm proud of you and I want you to go right now on the Seth Fennel Facebook page and post up. Let me know how you did. Let me know that you did it. I want to hear from you. You can also post on Instagram under the hashtag SH Summer Challenge. It's also not too late to sign up for the Summer Challenge. You can still sign up and get all the goodies and motivation and that's at stephendel.com. I've also got some really juicy information about a new program that I'm doing called Fit and Fearless University. You're going to get more information on that soon, but right now it's time to just start getting excited about it. That means that the summer challenge may be ending soon, but I'm not going to leave you hanging. There is so much more to come. So stay tuned to stephendel.com and you'll be getting more information on that soon. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. One more to go, summer challenge. You got it. 2013, baby. Summer challenge.